Welcome back, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us on today's virtual read aloud. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, my name is Miss Garcia, and I am here with Pat the Patriot. This month's Patriot, who will be reading with Pat today, is Mr. Santiago. Our Patriot will be reading How to Catch a Leprechaun by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Pat and I would like you to take a few minutes to look at the cover and tell your neighbor what you think the story will be about. Do you know how to catch a leprechaun? Now let's have our Patriot get started so we can learn more about the storybook. How to Catch a Leprechaun Words by Adam Wallace Pictures by Andy Elkerton The night is dark, the streets are quiet, St. Patrick's Day is near, I tap my hammer so you know, the leprechaun is here! I'll pull out your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn your whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one. I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out. Without a doubt, that one was a snap. <coughs> Now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. Well, eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now you're talking, look at this, it's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap, this tea is mine for free. Oh, I know you want my pot of gold, that iron cage was clever. But I've been alive 200 years, you won't catch me ever. <laughs> now you're getting fancy, but I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. It seems to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap, from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3,000, gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. But who will that child be? First, we need the four leaf clover. Then, we will create our new leprechaun 4000. Let's, Let's do, do this. this! Better luck next year. The end. Thank you, Mr. Santiago, for reading this book with Pat the Patriot. We hope you all enjoyed the storybook and begin to brainstorm on how to create the perfect trap to catch a leprechaun. Email us at the email below a picture of your perfect trap. We look forward to seeing you all on our next virtual read aloud, Wednesday, April 14th. 
Comment below what books you would like our Patriot to read next. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you all for tuning in. Goodbye.